Hey everybody, it's your girl Nige and I am back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you something that my pastor said a few years ago that really just, you know, resonated in my spirit. So stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> jump right in um because i gotta go to work in a few minutes <laughs> but um yeah what my pastor said was sometimes we're waiting on god and he's really waiting on us and um i hadn't thought about that in a long time but um i posted a throwback tuesday picture the other day and it really got me thinking like the picture that i posted and i'll insert it somewhere here um it was around like 2000 it was between 2003 2005 like I knew God. I didn't grow up in church. I think I told y'all that I didn't grow up in church, um, but I was one of those kids who went um, on holidays and stuff like that. But I'm thankful that even then um, the seed was planted. Nevertheless, um, as a kid, you know, usually someone brings you, but as an adult, um, I started going and I thought that was all I had to do was just go to church. Like, that's what everybody do, you know, go to church. But I didn't know anything about um, um, having a specific assignment and that the Lord, you know, requires more for us and more of us than for us to just go. Like, that's your reasonable service. Once again, we waiting on God, but the Lord, you know, he's waiting on us. So I think back on that picture and that time and that period in my life, 15 years ago, where I was, I'm not talking about financially. I'm talking about like spiritually going from having an idea of who God is or only going to him in moments of crisis or when I need something. And that's not a relationship. A relationship is you give and take, you know, you, the Lord gave his life. So we got to take from his word and apply it to our lives. I wasn't doing all that and I wasn't allowing the word to even, you know, pierce <laughs> this heart. Like I thought I was cool, calm, and copacetic. Like I thought I was good, you know, just going, just sitting, just hearing the word taken off the table, not putting anything back. But the Lord has a way of getting our attention. He has a way of um, making you do what you're supposed to do. Um, according to his will, because at the end of the day, his will is going to be done. So whether that's through a trial, whether that's a breakup, whether whatever has to happen to get you to surrender, that's a blessing. And it may seem like it's, you know, a bad thing, but the Lord, um, chastens those he loves. So I took it like, well, and now I could take it as, okay, that breakup was necessary. Um, that loss of that job was necessary. Why? Because those things forced me to get out of myself looking back now and to see how God really, you know, just set things up for me to get it. Did I always surrender willingly? No, because I thought it was something personal, but it had nothing to do with anything personal. It had everything to do with my walk with Christ and getting me to the point where um, I just become more than a churchgoer. Sometimes we're waiting on God. He's waiting on us to get me to the point where, you know, I could pray for somebody and not feel like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to pray in it. To pray with someone, to be to be unashamed about that, to find out what is my calling, to begin to walk in my calling, um, to find out what his will for my life is versus me just out here just making my own decisions like I am not my own for the for the believers who are blood washed who believe that you know God has a purpose for their life we are not our own the Lord has a plan and his will is going to be done once again sometimes we're waiting on God but all the time he's waiting on us to surrender to do his will to obey his voice to hear his voice to do more than just take a seat we have a specific purpose on this earth yes we have a you know purpose as far as work and things like that but in the kingdom there are specific assignments for each of us and i'm thankful that i'm beginning to come into the knowledge of um what my specific assignment is do i know everything no, but I do know I'm a whole lot further than I was 
15 years ago. As I close, I hope this message has blessed you. And if you're waiting on God to do something, check yourself because guess what, sister? Guess what, brother? He might just be waiting on you. I hope you've been blessed by this video. And if you have, leave a comment down below. I would love to keep the conversation going and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.